Hey everyone, my name is Vipul Gupta. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about SQL or SQL. The topics that we are going to cover in this video will include what is SQL, why do we need SQL and what are the job profiles for which SQL is required. Now before going to SQL, we need to understand some of the very basic and very important key terms like database, DBMS and RDBMS. Let's discuss why do we need a database. So let's go 50 years back at that time. How do how were we storing the data at that time? We used to store the data in the form of physical files. Now with this physical file storage system, there were some issues like if the data is too huge, then it is very difficult to maintain. It is difficult to retrieve. It is difficult to store. Then. There are security issues associated with it since the data is stored in the form of files and those files were kept in some room or some specific space. Now those areas or rooms were exposed to fire, theft, robbery or any natural calamity. In that case if anything like that happened then you can lose your data very easily. So the security issues were security issues were there then since everything was maintained manually everything was done manually so the rate of error was extremely high therefore in order to resolve these issues and with the evolution of technology and computer we were introduced with databases now what is a database in order to understand a database let's visualize we have a clothing store in the clothing store we have different sections a different section for trousers a different section for t-shirts a different section for uh, shirts or pants right so consider that store as a database every section as a table and each article like pant jean or t-shirt to be a data for data point right so we can define a database as a collection of data where data is stored in a structured and organized manner and the data is stored in a computer system now coming to dbms what is dbms dbms stands for database management system now we have a database where we are storing the data but how can we access that database we need a we need, we need an interface using which we can talk we can uh, store our data in the database so that problem is solved with dbms dbms is a computer application or software which provides you the feature to store the data to read the data the interface using which you can talk to the data and other commands you can perform with using this DBMS. Now we have multiple types of DBMS available like hierarchical DBMS, network DBMS, object oriented DBMS and RDBMS. In this video we are going to talk about RDBMS. Now what is RDBMS? RDBMS stands for Relational Database Management System. In RDBMS the data is stored in the format of tables and you can define a relation between those tables that is why it's called a relational database management system so rdbms provides you the interface and facility to store data in your uh, to store your data in the form of tables and the interface and the other features to to store to manipulate or to retrieve the data are provided by rdbms now in the market there are multiple companies which offers you this application like microsoft offers you sql server microsoft has another product microsoft access then we have oracle ibm offers you db2 then we have postgres sql mysql and many more now what is sql the topic of our video sql so SQL stands for structured query language. 
as the name suggests it's a language so we can define sql as a language or a medium using which you can interact with your database you can write queries to create a table you can write query to modify a table to retrieve the data from a table or you can do some other manipulation of the data so in simple words sql is a language or a medium which you can use to talk to your database now let's discuss who need to learn sql so if you are in the field of data science or are preparing for any of the role like data analyst business analyst data engineer data scientist or a dba then you need to learn sql as sql is the primary skill set which is required for these roles also nowadays many of the companies are demanding their product managers and product owners to learn sql so if you are preparing for any such role then also you need to learn sql so with this i am concluding this video introduction to sql in this video we have learned about databases database management system relational database management system and sql thanks for watching this video please hit the like button if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe as i'll be getting more videos for you guys on sql python aws and other data science related topics thank you